I want it all, Keith Herring the decor. Walking through Paris, shopping with me a more. Got a knot and it sound official, don't it baggage claim. Go yard luggage with my initials on it. Paris, what's up? Y'all fucking with Aldo and the Kush Drive? One and the third on the tune up. Who else wanna check it? Right. Kush got none ever. I've been a cold motherfucker with the mother. I'm ill, nigga. That nice 190 slang. Tell niggas my shit is butter. Uh, I talk that butt shit better. Don't get it fucked up, nigga. Still gutter. My set is ill. Test my skills, nigga. Don't write a check that your ass can't cover. Uh, 80 deep in this bitch, though. That little homies get it poppin' with they big bro. Nigga front, nigga quick, they let this shit go. Coming through unannounced rubber man from the fifth floor. Uh, we mobbin'. We ain't winning no lot shit. With being with Smoke Dizzle, we smoke about, I don't know, like 20 joints a day. Because I fucking felt like it. That's why. Family though. Shit fire though, why not? Right. Mother made him. I met him about five years ago. I met him in the studio. Through one of our mutual, uh, mutual person that we both know. And I met him in the studio, and then we just got cool. We exchanged numbers, and our vibes are the same, and we just clicked, and that was mother it. Mother made them, mother had them, mother fuck them. We mob out, it's like Moscow, by the way them niggas rushing. Hold your head, boy, hold on. Smoke put together RFC. That was Smoke's, like, idea. Smoke wanted to bring his homies together, and just the people he thought was the best in the city, up, you know, up and coming. It just so happened that... Two of them is his childhood friends. I met Smoke maybe like five years ago, and we just clicked, and we just became like best friends too. Like, you know, he's a good guy, he got a good heart, and he's just a good dude. So when he created RFC, you know, he, he came to me with the idea, and you know, Smoke has helped me a lot in my career, and you know, he's done a lot of things for me, so he asked me like, yo, you know, I want you to do this with me, so I said, yeah, let's do it. It's a lot of talent in New York, you know what I mean? But I'm a fan, you know, I'm just a fan of music, so. Everybody coming up, I wish everybody success. As we proceed, I'ma keep this motherfucking Dutch rap, the Dutch master burning. Can I dip in my ass straight real fast? Because everybody's a rapper, you know what I mean? A lot of people are rappers, but you just gotta focus and you just, if this is what you wanna do, it can't be a hobby. You have to make it your job. You have to live and breathe music. You know what I mean? You can't, there's kids younger than me that they wake up every day and that's all they do is record music and write music. Rap is a lifestyle. To stay on top of your game. New York is very competitive. So when I was coming up, I just I'm a sore loser. I don't like to lose. I don't like to be last. I don't like to be second. I want to be number one in everything I do. So I bust my ass and I feel like I'm the best new nigga in New York. Hands up, hands up. Hands up, hands up. Shit, I'm about to ride. 
Kush got smoke till the Buddha end Low cargo sag, I'm a hooligan uh, I made buckets look cool again The game was missing the fly, nigga, I maneuver then uh, Life's a bitch trying to do me in But I fuck her raw, she got the new boring. Uh I ain't listening if it ain't by the ends You ain't saying shit like booty